Special thanks to Snow Wonder for sponsoring this video. What's up, Trill Slime Squad, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the crew, then welcome to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell to be notified whenever I post, and give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys enjoy. As y'all could probably see from the title, today is the third and final installment of my Instant Snow Secrets series. That's a tongue twister. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make cloud dough and a more in-depth cloud slime tutorial. I actually already have a cloud slime tutorial. You guys seem to really like it but some of you guys wanted more specific measurements so that is what I focused on in this video but enough talking let's get into the recipes so we're starting off with the cloud dough and just a little background information on cloud doughs they are thick and doughy hence the name cloud dough they are holdable perfect for on the go and they are also beginner friendly so if you are new to slime cloud dough is definitely an option for you we're starting off with a thick and glossy base. If y'all want to know how to make this, make sure you check out my guide to thick and glossy slime. I have it linked in a card on the screen right now, so check it out if you guys need to know how to make this. I decided to dye this particular slime pink, and like in my last video, there was blue food coloring all over the pink food coloring bottle, and that's kind of why you can see some blue food coloring on my white slime gotta love that but anyways I'm gonna mix this in and I tried not to put this on my hands because y'all know I hate that I'm usually pretty good about this but this time I failed I had pink food coloring up my arm all over my hands all over my shirt too don't even know how it happened but anyways moving on we're gonna take snow wonder instant snow powder and I took one tablespoon of dry instant snow powder and I'm just simply kneading that into my slime until the instant snow powder is fully absorbed into the slime. To be completely honest this is probably the easiest slime you're gonna make when it comes to instant snow because there really isn't any way to mess this up. You literally add in the dry instant snow powder and mix it until everything is mixed fully. So yeah there's really no way to mess this up. And as always if y'all are interested in checking out recipes and keeping them for yourself I will have the document down below it has all the recipes that we touched base on in this entire series it also has my thick and glossy recipe and it has my super highly requested clear slime recipe so if you guys are interested in that check out that link below this is the final result that you should get obviously you want to let this sit for about three days you could play with this right after making it but to reduce snow fallout and just to let that instant snow soak into the slime you want to let it sit especially if you're gonna be selling this next we have cloud slime this is definitely my favorite slime other than clear slime I'm just I love cloud slime it's so fun to play with so a little bit of background information is cloud slime is super dense it can be lightweight it's holdable it melts less often but it's definitely more for the advanced slimer for a cloud slime we're starting out with a thick and glossy base and again I did link the recipe in a card at the top of the screen but you can also find it in my description and I decided to dye this one blue I'm kind of going for cotton candy vibes so that's why the last one was pink and this one is blue y'all will see at the end but this time around I didn't get any random colored food coloring and I also didn't dye my hands my arms or my shirt so it's already going a lot better than the first time around I always say this but it's definitely best to dye and scent your slime base before you even activate but in this series I like to dye them after the fact just because I like showing the mixing process and now I'm going in with a tablespoon of dry instant snow powder and I'm adding a tablespoon of hot water to that. I got confirmation from Snow Wonder that if you use warm water it activates the snow a lot faster. I personally think it works better. You can use cold water if you want but I definitely would recommend using warm or hot. You want to mix your instant snow into your slime until it forms into a soft and smooth cloud cream. If you guys have not checked out my cloud cream recipe video, definitely check it out because cloud creams are also a really fun texture to play with. In general, slimes that are made with instant snow tend to not melt as easily, which is another reason why I'm a super big fan of them. 
I went in with about five pumps of lotion and this is just gonna soften my slime up and make my cloud slime super fluffy and smooth to the touch. I do want to point out that there is lotion in the base recipe but I like adding a little bit more when it comes to cloud slime. And after that I'm going in with one teaspoon of dry instant snow powder and I'm activating that with one tablespoon of warm water. Once again I'm just going to be mixing everything in until the instant snow is fully incorporated. At this point you should definitely see your slime turning into a cloud slime. It's going to be a little bit crumbly but that's totally okay just keep kneading. And after you've kneaded everything together go in with one more teaspoon of dry instant snow powder and just knead that in until everything is fully incorporated. Pretty sure I said this in my last cloud slime tutorial but if not I apologize. My cloud slime is not wet at all. It does not give off any wet residue. I don't like wet cloud slimes. I know some people do. I am just not that one. So if you guys are into dry cloud slimes that have really nice smooth consistent drizzles this is the one that you need to make. So I went in with about a half a teaspoon of activator. The activator that I'm using is three teaspoons of borax powder to one and a half cups of hot water and make sure it's fully dissolved before you add it into your slime. So I just went in with that and this is the time where you have to use your muscles. You kind of want to knead this like bread or pizza dough until your slime is smooth because right now it's going to feel super rubbery and clumpy and it's going to feel like you ruined it but I promise you didn't. Definitely just keep on kneading. I would say that this is probably the most important part and this is also something that people don't realize that they have to do in order to have a good cloud slime that drizzles very smoothly. The activator is definitely the secret ingredient when it comes to cloud slime. The kneading process will probably take around 5 minutes but after that you should have a really soft and smooth cloud slime. You're going to want to let this sit for 3 days in order for the instant snow to absorb. It also reduces snow fallout and just gives you a smoother texture overall. And here are our final products. So the pink slime is obviously the cloud dough and the blue slime is the cloud slime. Like I said I was kind of going for a cotton candy vibe. I'm not going to talk too much because I want y'all to listen to the ASMR. And we've made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love doing tutorials. I just feel like a teacher. I don't know. It's just super fun. And don't forget to enter in the Snow Wonder giveaway. The last two winners will be announced next Wednesday. So you have until then to enter. All you guys have to do is be subscribed. You guys seen the rules. It's already in the video, but you know. And of course, here are my hashtag Troll Slime Squad members. Thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel. Turn on your post notification bell. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out in my next video, all you guys have to do is be subscribed. Turn that post notification bell on so you're notified whenever I post. And leave a comment, hashtag Troll Slime Squad, hashtag Notification Squad, hashtag Early Squad, hashtag whatever squad you're a part of at the moment. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!